welcome back to another episode of Stitch and Saturday. Today's episode is very special. I'll be uh, taking you through a whole tutorial of how to make a football scrubby um, or a football stuffy just in time for Thanksgiving. So um, let's get started. What I'm using today is um, my Denise interchangeable hook with about a four inch cord. Um, and this is the 5.5 mm hook and you're going to need a darning needle or a yarn needle and um, a pair of scissors and the yarn I'm using today is the um, sugar and cream um, Lily sugar and cream in white and warm brown um, and I have a whole other um, video with the review for the Denise interchangeable crochet hooks if you're interested you can click the I above and I will um, and, and I'll link to it there so you can click that and check it out. But before <coughs> you go anywhere, follow along and I'm going to show you how um, to make that football scrubby or stuffy. Um, so let's get started. First, I'm just going to do a slip knot. And then uh, I, I usually like to leave a longer tail so that I can um, weave it in better. Um, there's less chance of it coming undone. Um, so I'm going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's chain six. And then I'm just going to go into the back loops and do my foundation chain. Foundation row. So just going to do that. Last one's sometimes harder to go through. All right. And then just do a normal return pass. And then from this point, we're going to increase. Um, and the way um, we increase, if you want to brush up on, on that um, technique, uh, I'll link to that as well um, above, and you can check it out. Um, but basically what you're doing is you're just going to go through um, as if you're going to do the knit stitch. So go through from behind, pull up a loop, and then I'm just going to pull up a, another loop into that same um, stitch. So now you have an extra stitch here. So I'm just going to do a simple stitch across until I have the last two remaining. And then I'm going to do the same thing in this stitch. I'm going to go behind, pull up a loop, and then pick up a loop from the front. So um, now I have. So actually what I'm going to do is just to keep it even, I'm going to um, pull up a loop like this and then I'm going to go behind and pull up a loop like that. So now I have two stitches, but basically the increase is um, at the ends that way. And then again, just do the normal, um, like pick up the normal stitches that you would in the end, the last stitch here just go under both loops and pick that up and then again do a normal return pass so we're going to continue increasing until let's see we started off with six so i'm going to say until we have 12 stitches um so one two three four five six seven eight we have eight now we're just going to go in pick up a loop so we're increasing over here. So I'm just going to go across. Just go across and do the normal simple stitch. And then again, we're at the last one. So I'm going to pick up the stitch and then I'm going to go in as if I'm doing the knit stitch and pull up a loop. So um, there you have another stitch. And then I'm going to do the normal um, stitch there. And then I'm just going to return, do a normal return pass. So now we've increased to 10. So let's do it till there's 24 stitches, not 12. So I'm going to do increase until there are 24 stitches. So again, just increase, pick up a loop, and then pick up a loop across. Just keep doing that. I'm going to just. Oops, sorry, first do the simple stitch and then go in and as if we're going to do the next stitch, pull up a loop and then pull up a loop into the last two. 
And then I'm just going to keep doing this. And I'll meet you back once we have um, 24 stitches in total. Okay, so I'll meet you back. All right, so now you should have a total of 24 stitches across. So now what we're going to do is we're going to decrease back to the six that we started with. So the way we do the decreases, um, it's really simple. I have another video as well that goes um, through this technique in detail, and I'll link it above um, or, or below in my description, and you can um, check it out. But basically what you do is... You're going to go through two stitches at the same time, two of these loops, and you're just going to pull a loop up through that. And that's it. That's uh, called uh, Tunisian Simple Stitch 2 Together. Um, so TSS 2 Together. And then um, just go across and then um, pull up a loop and all of these stitches across until you get to the last three stitches. Um, so basically just going through and there now we have the last two stitches or last three one two three stitches so I'm just gonna go through these two loops and pull up a loop and then just work the last stitch as you normally would and now um, you should have decreased by two so you'll have 22 stitches do a normal return pass and um, I'll show you one more time how to do the decreases and then um, let me see here Move back doing the return pass all right so we're back at the beginning of the row basically you're just gonna go through the first two loops here and pull up a loop so you've decreased another um, stitch and then just work across um, doing normal Tunisian simple stitch until you get to the last three um, last three stitches again So again, we're at the last three here. So again, go through these two loops, pull up a loop, and then pull up a loop into the last stitch like you normally would. And then do a normal return pass. So we're going to continue doing this until we, um, until we have six stitches remaining like we did in the beginning. And I will meet you back once you've decreased all of the stitches um, and you just have six remaining. And now we have um, six stitches remaining, so um, now we're just going to bind off, and the way we do that is you pull up a loop and then do a slip stitch, and that's it. Pull up a loop, pull it through this previous stitch. I'm just going to slip stitch, bind off across, um, and then you want to leave a really long tail. You can start to see the football shape forming. Um, and that's the front side and then you want to repeat this um, for uh, the second part the back part um, or if you want to use this as an applique on a blanket or on something else um, you could just use this um, and I'll show you how to add on the eyes so let me first leave a long tail here I'm just gonna snip this I think I'm leaving about like 12 inches um, I'm gonna try and use this to sew it all around um, maybe I'll leave a longer let me see let's use let's do like a 24 inch tail because I'm gonna probably need that long tail to bind up um, to sew the pieces together. So basically, I have this long tail, I have the piece here, um, and f like when I, um, when I need to put eyes on something, I like to do a French knot. I, uh, I don't like using safety eyes um, so much. I think I just need to get used to it, but um, I prefer 
doing French knots. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So let me use, I, I cut about like a 12 inch um, piece of yarn. I'm just going to put, put it through my yarn needle. And then, so let's, I'm going to count um, how many, so rows, how many rows down and exactly which stitch to um, put the French knot in. So um, let's count from the top. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, there's about 20 rows um, this way, 20 stitches this way. So what we want to do is we want to go into like the top third of the um, piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight might be too low. So let's go into the seventh row and then I'm going to count the stitches across. So this is the seventh um, row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we have about 14 stitches across, so 7 is right in the middle here, um, 7 and 7, so um, then I'm going to count maybe 2 stitches away, so 2 stitches away from the 7th stitch here, so 1, 2, and then um, I'll probably do the knot in the 2nd stitch here, and then again count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the other um, stitch here. So again, the next one over, that's probably where I'm going to do the eye. So let me just, I'm going to actually um, grab a st stitch marker and just a locking stitch marker and just put it in that spot so I don't forget. Um, so this is where I'll do the second eye. So first eye I'm going to do in here. So basically what I'm doing is um, I'm going to put my I'm going to put my um, needle in from the back. I'm going to bring it in into the little V that's there in that stitch. And then I'm going to pull my yarn and then I'm going to go through the V below it and just do that. And then I'm going to bring it back up through here and then put it through here. That's kind of how I do my, let's see here. made a little X but <laughs> I'm just gonna pull my yarn through and then just go through it's like a little star so that's kind of how I do my French knots um, it's not an exact science it's just you know it's a rough estimate here so they're kind of like little stars and then just keep going through so that, um, you know, you have a good little knot here. And that's kind of what the eye will be like. And then I'm going to do the same thing in here. I'm going to go through, um, I'm going to go through the stitch where I put my stitch marker just above, um, into the V that's above it. So I'm just going to do that. And then... I'm going to go in to the V below it, like I did on the other side, and then just pull the yarn through, and then I'm going to go on the side here, pull up the yarn, and then go through, and then go through the other side here. And at this point, if you want, you can take the stitch marker out because, you you know, we're already working through that stitch. We know where it is. So I'm going to take that off and then I'm just going to pull, I'm just going to pull behind. 
<laughs> it's like a little X to it. Um, now I'm just gonna make a little star through it. So I'm gonna go through and just keep going through and uh, until you have like a little knot, you know. Uh, until you're satisfied, really. I mean, like. Again, like I said, it's not an exact science, um, just until you have a little knot that looks like an eye. That's kind of how I do it, so. And then just put it through. And I think that's good. I have two little eyes. And then I'm just going to go through in the back here. I don't think I want a nose on this guy. I'm just going to do a little smile. Um, so usually I do the smile closer to the bottom, um, like the bottom third of the um, piece. So then we're going to do, let's count. So one, two, three, four, five, um, maybe into the sixth row here in the, in the center. So um, you know how we have two stitches over here. So um, this is kind of the center here next to the sixth um, row. And the sixth row just... Um, aligning with um, the middle here so um, probably gonna go under this eye um, and into so I'm counting one two three four five six seven um, stitches down and then the V below that's where I'm gonna go in um, and then I'm just gonna go in and then just so into that V and then I'm gonna go into the V um, so one two stitches over and one stitch down I'm gonna go into that V and do that so you can see a smile is already forming um, and then I'm gonna go to the aligning stitch here so one stitch over and one stitch up I'm going to go into that V and then just go back in to that stitch they have a little smile and that is my little um, you know football scrubby face um, so then what you want to do is you want to just repeat um, the brown um, part again so just do um, another piece basically and I'll meet you back and I'll show you what to do with it next um, and that's pretty much it that's a smile here so I'll meet you back when we do um, once you have the second piece second brown piece ready remember you don't want to do any embroidery on it you don't want to add the eyes or the, the mouth on it because that's going to be the back side um, so I'll meet you back when we have that piece all right, so now we have the second part, um, which is going to be the back side, and I'm just going to leave a little tail and just cut the yarn. And at this point, um, if you want to turn it into a stuffy, you can grab some polyfill um, and just stuff it. Uh, first, you want to sew around. Okay, you want to join the pieces. Um, I'm going to use my needle and I'm just going to, the best part about this is that we don't have to weave in any ends because we're just going to stick them right inside. This is my favorite part. And yeah, just stick in all this and just put it in. And then um, this is the piece I'm going to use to sew, um, sew the two pieces together. And let's get started. So on this side, I'm just going to go through. I'm going to whip stitch. So basically the way you do that is um, you just go under both of the V's on um, both pieces and you just sew it together like that. 
I'm just gonna go around and do that. Uh, I'm just gonna go all the way around and do that and I'll meet you back once I've um, sewn the two pieces together. So I've sewn pretty much all around. I have just a little bit of space left here, um, which I'm not going to close up because I'm going to make this into a stuffy. Um, you can also continue sewing it up if you want to um, gift it to someone as like a face scrubby or like a body um, scrubby um, type of thing. But if you want to turn it into a stuffy for a little um, for a little one in your life, just um, add some polyfill. And then you're gonna sew it up. So um, just gonna stuff it in like this, and just want to make sure that it's um, that it's uniform. That you have enough polyfill, not too much. Just gonna fill it all up in here like this. Just fill it. You can start to see the shape is forming. I'm so excited. Um, I think this is a great gift idea as a stocking stuffer for all the football lovers in your family. So the story behind this um, project is um, my cousin um, and his wife are expecting their first baby um, this winter. And um, so, and they're both big time um, sports buffs, especially my um especially my cousin so um, I thought it would be a really cute idea to gift him um, gift him like a football scrubby whenever it's his turn um, to give the baby a bath um, so that's kind of where the idea came from and um, today I'm sharing it with you guys um, and I've also um, thought of making it into a little um, stuffy so like a little lovey uh, stuffy just to kind of like throw around. You can even make it into a rattle um, if you would like. Um, just um, put some rattle pieces inside. I can link to those as well. Um, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to turn it into a little scrubby here. Uh, sorry, a little stuffy. Um, so I think I'm getting close to a good amount. Let me see. I'm going to add a little bit more. Um, so that's nice and squishy because <laughs> there's some space at the top here. So just gonna stuff it in. And you want to just shape it so that's um, so you're gonna get a nice little football shape here. I'm so excited, it's looking really cute. I'm gonna probably um, add a little bit more. Right. So there we go. I think that's looking really cute. Now I'm gonna just close it up. I think I've added a, um, enough polyfill. You just, um, you know, use your judgment and see if you like it more squishy, just add some more. Uh, but you don't want to add too much so that it gets uh, misshape, misshapen. So I'm just going to um, add that much. And then I'm just going to close this up. Continue closing it up like I was doing earlier. And, oops. This came out. I'm just gonna put it right back in, and yeah, that's good. And just closing it up a little bit more. And the best thing about amigurumi is you do not have to worry about weaving in ends. What I'm gonna do here is <laughs> I am just going to just poke the needle through into the and then just oops just go through the whole body and just pull out pull out the yarn from the other side <laughs> so there you have it that is the stuffy um, and there's one last part finishing touch that I like to 
share with you guys. Um, so basically what I want to do is I'm going to attach um, a little band over here so that, um, you know, it's like a, like you can grab it from the back here. Um, and that would be great for the scrubby as well as the um, up a loop on this side. So the back side facing you, uh, we want to pick up a loop into the four stitches on um, on the side that's facing you. So I'm just going to pick up about four loops into this. So one, and then two, a loop into the four um, stitches here and I'm just gonna work Tunisian simple stitch um, across for the width of the back so um, so let's say about how many rows so yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, so about 18 um, rows uh, of the Tunisian Simple Stitch. I'm just going to work 18 rows and I'll meet you back once we have completed those rows. So now we have, um, so we've done the return pass on the 18th row and now we're going to just pick up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this stitch and then I'm going to go through um, the aligning stitch on this side, which is the um, second stitch from the right. And I'm just going to pull up a loop and pull up a loop again into this. And then just do a slip stitch. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull up a loop here. Oh, actually, um, so I'm going to go through this loop. Go through the third loop on the band. And then go through the next loop on these uh the lovey and then just pull up a loop and then just do a slip slip stitch into that and then the last two stitches here just um pull up so go through the last two stitches like you're going to work the last stitch uh last stitch and then just go into the uh, aligning loop on the uh football uh lovey and then just just pull up a loop and then just pull up a loop and then just pull up another loop so you're slip stitching basically I've slip stitched the band onto the football here so that's what we're gonna have and then I'm just gonna pull up a little bit of a tail so that I can um, weave it through and just cut that yarn so now we're done with the brown yarn. Um, the last part, the finishing touch, which I really love um, and I think it looks really cute. I'm going to add a bunch of stitches, white stitches across. Like, you know how the football has the um, embroidery on it, on the, um, has the stitching on the, on the back? That is what I'm going to add on here. So basically, I'm just going to take maybe like another... 24 inch piece, cut it. I'm going to go through and put it through my needle. And then what we're going to do is um, starting from the bottom here where we um, slip stitched um, everything. I'm just going to go through and just go from behind and just leaving a bit of a tail I'm gonna just go across um, maybe like every two stitches so I'm gonna go through the two stitches here and then I'm gonna go through the halfway point here and then just put it through like that Like that, and then I'm gonna go through again. Go to, um, go behind, 
and to again count like two stitches up go through from behind pull up that yarn go through here and then just gonna continue doing that so that you have this little design in the back on the band to give the effect of a football so again i'm going to count two stitches up go this way go this way and then just look in the middle here and do that oops like that and i'm just going to keep doing that across roughly it doesn't have to be exact again it can be you know a rough estimate estimate of uh just make sure you're consistent so it doesn't look off so just keep doing that gonna go this way to this and then I'm not measuring each part I'm just roughly eyeballing it and I think um, that's kind of what adds a really nice um, touch to kids pieces children's pieces that it's not perfect and it doesn't have to be perfect um, it gives a little like a kiddish look or like a baby look I just and there we go and then we have the last one I'm just gonna go through I think I'm running out of yarn at this point <laughs> okay I think that is good so last one so I'm just gonna pull it through there we go see and I have a little stitching on the back um, and now what I'm gonna do is I am just going to stuff it inside again like it's the best part of doing on either of me like you can just stuff things in and just forget about it oops until it shows up like that <laughs> okay so that's in now we have to do the same thing with all the other um, ends that that are just laying around here just put them through a needle just stick them in here and just pull them out from the other side and then anything that remains you can just cut it off um, so I'm just gonna start snipping so put it through now I'm just gonna pull it a little bit and just snip and there's that end weaved in and then we have three more on this side that we have to just finish off I think this one is already woven in because it's from the other side I believe this one yeah so I'm just gonna snip that one okay. and then this I think I'm gonna weave it in um, through this part and just kind of sew it on to the football a little bit more so just gonna join it here because I think it's kind of hanging off a little and I don't want that okay there we go now I'm just gonna stuff it through and we'll be done there we go and I'm just gonna cut this last part in and then we will be on our way All right. so put that. there we go there you have it and you have a little football stuffy um, you think it's super cute as a baby gift or um, 
for the, the person in your life who loves football, who is a big football buff, um, perfect for Thanksgiving because we all know what happens on Thanksgiving. We sit and we watch football. And um, the Super Bowl is also coming. So, you know, it's a great stocking stuffer also um, if you're looking for gift ideas, quick makes. All right. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, and thank you for watching.